Hey guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm doing this look. It is a fall-inspired look. The eyes look like this. I'll zoom in for you guys. Um, they're a very fall color. They remind me of leaves a lot, and I think that's really cute. With, um, just like this browny, shimmery lip color. A lot of these products are discontinued. Like, um, these two are for limited edition, and this one was just discontinued. But you can really use anything, like, for a gold shadow, you can go in with, you know, something like this. This is Gold Mine by Annabelle. Oof. Um, same kind of idea. Or if you're into more high-end makeup, you can go in with something like... I really love Honey Pot from this palette. Um, my phone's vibrating, sorry. But, um, yeah, I think it's really pretty. I'm going to be doing some more fall looks. I'm sorry I'm gone. I'm looking to doing some Halloween stuff. I know I've been missing. I'm so sorry. My life's been really busy. I'll explain more later. But, um, yeah, I miss you guys. And enjoy this look. First on my face right now, I have the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer in light. And then the... Someone's walking around. And the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control in buff beige. For my cheeks, I'm going to use my mini Benetint sample from Benefit. I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and this is in medium 01 with a large fluffy beauty control powder brush. First, I'm going to put a base on my eyes and I'm using Rubenesque Paint Bot by MAC. Now I'm going in with this flat shader brush and Tweet Me Mega Med Lash Shadow for MAC. This is from the Peacocky Collection. Um, you can just use any gold color. Now I'm using my 203 brush by Rock and Republic. It's just a big fluffy brush like this. And I'm going in with DeVille Eyeshadow by MAC. This is from the Venomous Villains Collection. Um, it has a Lux Pearl finish and it's a really orange color and I'm applying this all over my crease. Um, a lot of people are scared to wear orange on their eyes, I think. Um, but I personally think that like a color like this, um, with this kind of finish is gorgeous, especially if you have blue or green eyes, it's really, really gonna bring the color out in your eyes. Now I'm going to be using my 217 by MAC, looks like that. I'm going in with the Natural Eye Palette from Too Faced, you guys have probably all seen this. I'm going in with um, Sexpresso, it's a matte chocolate brown color and I'm just going to put this right in the crease to deepen the look a little bit. Now going back in with my 203 brush and back in with DeVille, I'm going to just blend that out a little bit. Then as my brow bone highlight and to clean up the sides a little bit, I'm just going to be taking the same fluffy brush I've been using this whole time and Heaven by Too Faced from the same palette as before. Then once again same palette, I'm going to go in with Silk Teddy now, and this is on my inner corner. Um, you could go and line your eyes now. If I had a brown liner, I would do that. But I actually don't own one, so I'm going with this really old MAC shadow. Um, it's called Fake. I'm using a 205 brush by Rock and Republic. It's an ankle brush. And I'm going to take this along my upper lash line. And 
I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it underneath of my lash line right here too. It's already a really colorful look so I don't want my lashes to be too dramatic so I'm going in with my Beauty Control Spectacular Lash and this is in the color black and I'm just going to put this on my upper lash. You can line your waterline. I'm not going to just because I really like this. Look right here. So this is the final eye look. And I'm going to zoom up to my lips. I'm going to go in with this Revlon lipstick. It's a pearl finish. It's number 420 blushed. Um, so this is the final look. I'm going to be doing a more like in trend I guess fall look too. Whenever I get around to it. I've been super busy lately, I'm really sorry. I am now working two jobs while well, I work at the golf course and then I'm starting at Bath and Body Works on Friday, so I'm getting kind of busy. And I am in my senior year, so yeah, but this is the final look. It's a lot of really pretty fall colors and I adore wearing this and I get a lot of compliments on this actually. Sometimes I do um cranberry in the crease instead of the one from this palette. Also I really like this palette. I think I'm going to film some looks using um, these things, but I don't know. Tell me what you think. I swear, I'm, I'm not like dead or anything. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.